It was a couple little right left jabs, and there, see, he looked for the right, and Biggs was able to slip it. Left jab got in by Biggs. Stevenson unable, Another left jab. Stevenson unable to unload that right. That's what he wants to do, and he's still waiting. He may wait too long in this fight. Biggs has Stevenson backed up now, and Stevenson able to get the left hand in. Really not a lot of force behind that. Stevenson just puts the left out there and lets you know it's there, kind of like the pitcher who uses the curveball once in a while to set up the fastball. And good the left fastball, hook. Yeah, good left hook Excuse and a good Roger. right. Yeah, it would, I mean, Biggs came through with some big shots, and Stevenson, it kind of woke him up a little bit. Stevenson now using the uppercuts. Both of these fighters puffing and huffing here in the third and final round, and Biggs once again lands that left as he's continued to use the left jab here in the third round of great success. He's using the jab well, but he's dropping the left hand after he throws it, and that could be dangerous. Stevenson, of course, looking to unload the right over that jab. Biggs looks very tired now as he's kind of leaning in and pushing Stevenson back against the ropes. And now Biggs goes down. And that right looked extremely low. You can see where Biggs is holding himself. Uppercut by Stevenson, that looked very low. They're counting it a knockdown. And Biggs telling the referee, uh-uh, that was low. Blood coming out of the nose of Tyrell Biggs. Now Stevenson really moves in and starts wailing away. Well, that low blow, an apparent low blow, has turned things around for T. Fiala Stevenson, but Biggs lands a couple of jabs in round three, and this crowd is into this fight, that's for sure. Crowd on their feet now in Reno, Nevada. Biggs continues to throw, but Stevenson has landed in the last minute and a half of this third and final round, the more effective punches. Now, the question is, how much will that knockdown count as far as the judges are concerned? We thought the Biggs had very good round oh, one and two. solid right by Teofil Stevenson. Stevenson, a strong finish. We'll be back with the decision after this. Biggs and Teofil Stevenson. And now you got to figure this is going to be a close decision. I think very close, but I would think Biggs might have the edge. Let's find out. A three-time gold medal winner in the Olympic Games from Cuba, Teofilo Stevenson. Well, you can tell the partisan crowd in Reno, Nevada, not happy with that. And all Biggs can do is just stand there and shake his head in disappointment. You can see that frustration etched on his face. I really am surprised at the decision because um, Biggs, it appeared to me, certainly won those first two rounds. And even in the third round, when Stevenson knocked him down, Biggs had his moments. Uh, so um, tough uh, decision for Tyrell Biggs to lose. I think that uh, the last 30 seconds to the last uh, minute of that uh, fight probably left an impression in the minds of the judges. Apparently it did, and, apparently, and that knockdown may have come as a low blow. So we'll see. Maybe there's another day in the Olympics for Biggs and Stevenson. So Cuba defeats the United States 8-4 in this dual meet from the Lawler Special Events Center in Reno, Nevada. For Al Bernstein, I'm Roger Twyville. Thanks for being with us here on ESPN. Fly the friendly skies of United, serving... ...in 86 and once already...